Hello everyone, today we have with us Dr. Shubda Chiplunkar, who is the director ACTREC Tata Memorial. Thank you so much Dr. Shubda for joining us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so there we, recently we have seen a rise in treatment modalities, new and new treatment modalities are coming up such as immunotherapy. So what is your uh, you know, view on that? Right. Uh, recently we see that there is a great interest in immunotherapy for cancer uh, and this has shown remarkable responses in several patients in solid tumors, in leukemias. Uh, so basically these therapies are a target, are called as, there are checkpoint inhibitors. Uh, they, they control normally, the normal function and normal homeostasis is to control t unnecessary T cell activation. But the tumor cells hijack this mechanism and use it for their benefit. So these therapies are directed to stop the tumor from doing that. And uh, the problem is at the moment, these are very, the cost is a problem with these therapies they are unaffordable and we need to develop similar therapies we have the capacity of developing them in India itself we have shown this with biosimilars which were made earlier for monoclonal antibodies and basically these are monoclonal antibodies which are directed to molecules called PD-1 or PDL one that is a program that receptor 1 and ligand 1 so it's possible to make these antibodies in India at the moment they are on clinical trials uh, and we uh, we know they have shown good response with studies done abroad, but we need to, we have our own problems, our own cancers, where these have to be addressed independently. And there are some malignancies which don't respond to these therapies, so we also need to understand why there are no responses to such therapies, or why the patients don't respond. And here what becomes absolutely important to understand the tumor microenvironment. And in that tumor microenvironment, there are several players, and we need to understand their functions. But uh, my take on this is so these therapies need to be developed indigenously in India, these antibodies. So, uh, in the recent times, we have also seen that there are new areas of specializations for doctors, new therapeutic areas, uh, which are more specialized, or I would say super specialized. Yes. So, uh, can you please elaborate on that? Yes, as I said, immunotherapy is in the forefront, and uh, the medical doctors or the those who are doing super specialities need to understand these therapies. And that brings us to medical education and how this important component immunology is being taught in medical schools and we need to do a, take a lot of efforts in doing that. At uh, ATREC or at Tata Memorial Center we conduct such CMEs for medical graduates. Uh, we take basic courses in immunology. Uh, there's going to be one in March uh, when we have faculty from India and abroad who are experts, who are ex tumor immunologists who are being invited and it's like a, we give a hands-on workshop as well as uh, a lecture series, a seminar. So, uh, what is your view on the online CMEs or online education for doctors? Yeah, this would come later. Uh, we would certainly, we'll develop these e-modules uh, from them and we are working towards that. But initially, we want to take them as hands-on work because, you know, even the medical doctors need to, like flow cytometer. It's one of the most important component if you want to do immunotherapy. So, to understand that, we have workshops followed by lecture series. So, but, yeah, but we would definitely, as I, as I said, we are working towards developing uh, e-learning modules. Tata Memorial has also been at the forefront of research in medical uh, sciences. So what is, uh, what is the new upcoming research that uh, is being worked on? Yeah, today we have uh, challenges coming to us in the form of new malignancies or malignancies which, were, which are now taking shape, those coming from the Ganges belt, which are like gallbladder cancers, which are on the rise. And uh, so we are giving sort of a uh, multi-dimensional look at this uh, malignancy and we are looking at all aspects why this occurs are they related to lifestyle changes are, is there an immune component and we have formed uh, sort of we got a grant from DBT for this which is a center of excellence grant and so we have an epidemiologist immunologist uh, uh, and uh, a gastro a GI specialist who we all three together are addressing this issue we are looking at the mutational landscapes of these tumors we are looking a lot of genomic studies, are there SNPs, are there mutations in this which can be addressed because we know that immunotherapy also depends on the mutational load in the brain. So we have to address both these and this research is ongoing at the Tata Memorial Center 
Another area is the CAR therapy, the chimeric antigen receptor therapy, uh, which has shown excellent results in leukemias, patients with leukemias, and uh, a group from uh, Tata and from IIT are developing the CAR therapy, indigenous. So uh, Tata Memorial, since we've already ruled out that it has been at the forefront of research, so can you tell us about one of the most promising research that was done in 2016? One of the promising research? <laughs> yeah, there are a lot, but if yeah. you can just mention at least once. As I said, recent research which has come is coming from the mutational landscapes of the tumors, understanding the genome of these tumors. And so there are papers which have come on gallbladder cancer. Now, recent one coming in Lancet Oncology in gallbladder cancer. Uh, so we, this is the new information which has come. Earlier we had an, in head and neck tumors, and we have shown how ours is different from the Western world. So these are going to help us, you know, because we are trying to get signatures of our tumors, and then therapy would then become possible. So uh, what is your view on an online platform like DocPlexus? Can it help raise awareness among doctors for about, about these upcoming research and these online CMEs? Definitely, it's going to help in a great way because we are going to connect to network with so many young students and specialists who would offer that. But this has to be structured and moduled. Uh, there could be in the form of series of lectures uh, or training courses uh, which would be oriented towards uh, training. Yeah. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. To stay updated on our latest scaled videos and interviews, please follow us on Twitter, like us on our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy Doc Flexing!